Hey everyone and welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. My name is Noah and in episode 3 of the how to create a 3D customization menu in Unity, we will make considerable progress by rigging and animating our 3D character in Maya and then import everything inside of the Unity game engine. So I'm back inside of Autodesk Maya and I have the character that I modelled in the previous episode now ready to be rigged. In short, rigging is the process in which we place bones inside of our character. These bones then let us move the character around, in other words, animate it. Before creating any joints though, I'm going to hit space and choose shading, x-ray joint for the perspective, front and side view. This will enable us to see the bones through the model. I'm then going to place the different joints using the side view for the legs, body and head and the front view for the arms. Once all bones have been made, I rename them to keep things nice and clean. Everyone has their own way of naming joints. I simply put an extra BN for bone for example, BN body or BN arm left and so on. But as you can see, these bones have absolutely no effect on the character. This is when the final step of the rigging process comes into play, skinning. So I'm going to select uh, all my eyes, I'm going to unhide them by pressing Shift H and I'm also going to unhide all my different heads. I'm then going to select the head uh, joint. In my outliner, I'm going to select all my heads, all my eyes, and then I'm going to go up here to the skin menu tab and look for bind skin. And then I'm then going to go inside of the settings and make sure you have the exact set, uh, same settings as me, and then just click on the bind skin button. Now, as you can see, when I move the joints, the forehead models and the various eyes will move with it. Then just do the exact same thing for the legs, body and arms. Of course, I sped through the rigging process. There are many subtle techniques, tricks and important information I didn't mention. If you have never rigged before, definitely take a few hours and learn some valuable basics. Okay, now that our character can move around, it's time to make a quick and simple animation. I'm just going to create a basic idle sequence. So grabbing my various joints, I'm going to move the character around, placing keyframes on the timeline by hitting S on my keyboards. My final animation looks like this. And there we go! We have done everything we needed to do in Maya. It's time to start using Unity. So, create a brand new Unity project, uh, give the project a name, so I'm going to just call it 3D Customization Menu. Then choose a location for your project and remember to select the 3D option. Once that's done, we should have a brand new, fresh Unity project. Returning to Maya, I'm going to now export my uh, character and his rig. So I'm going to select absolutely everything that's in my outliner, so models and uh, joints. And I'm then going to go over to File. Uh, Maya happens to have an awesome Sense Unity feature, but if you don't have this, uh, just go to Export Selection. So I'm going to click on that, and you're just going to need to export. Uh, has an FBX file in your brand new Unity project. So find the location you saved your brand new Unity project in and then just give your uh, export a name, so I'm just going to call it Rig, for uh, short for Character Rig and make sure that under the Animation tab this animation box is unchecked. Then just click on Export Selection. Uh, you might get some warnings and errors, just ignore these, these are unimportant. And when we go back into Unity, you'll notice that we get our character that has been exported. Uh, obviously, there are a few settings that we will have to tweak and adjust, but we'll do all of that in the next video. For now, just leave them as they are. Now, before concluding this episode, I'm just going to export uh, the character's simple idle animation. 
To do so, I'm going to once again select everything that's in the outliner, so the character's models and his rig. And I'm also going to select the keyframes on the timeline here. And I'm then going to make another FBX export. I'm going to call this export uh, idle animation. And this time I'm going to check the animation box. And then I'm just going to click on export selection. Once again, we get a few warnings and errors. Ignore these. Go back into Unity and we get our idle animation. All right, excellent. Okay, and with that, I am going to conclude the episode. In the next video of the series, we will organize our project, tweak the import settings, apply materials to our character, and set up some UI. With that, thanks so much for watching. I hope you are as excited as I am to bring to life this character customization menu. You can support me and my channel and make my day awesome by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Okay, cheers!